good girl hey miss girl it's your girl jam and welcome back to my youtube channel today we will be getting into my feminine hygiene routine i recently did a come hygiene shopping with me so if you haven't watched it make sure you stop right there and go watch that video i'll link it down below but today we're going to get into a really in-depth hygiene routine when i did the hygiene shopping video i went pick up my must-haves i went pick up some new products that the girls have been raving about and i was like let me do a sit down video and make sure i do some reviews let you know how i'm liking the new products and the products that i need girl the products that is essential in my hygiene routine so without further ado let's get into the video so first up we're gonna get into my vitamins so what i like to use is this probiotic you take one of these a day it doesn't matter if you take it with food or not you can take it with or without a meal i definitely noticed the difference in my gut health so if you are struggling with like gut health and digesting your food and things like that this is really good to add to your daily vitamin routine now as for immune health i like to use the emergencies um, I take one of these a day. Um, right now I'm using the raspberry pack. I actually think I like the orange better. I'll probably switch back to the orange. But these really work, y'all. I like to take these before I leave the house or if I forget before I leave the house, after I come back when I'm, you know, interacting with people or I've been running errands in and out the stores. Now, I don't use the daily vitamin at this time, but there's this vegan brand. I think it's called like Mary Ruth or... Yeah, I think it's called Mary Ruth. I'll pop it up on the screen here. It's like a vegan daily vitamin. Now, I recently had it, but the top buzz, so I was covering it up with fall. But then I started noticing like the change in color. And in the reviews, it does say things about the color will change. It's because of the natural ingredients. Also for vitamins, I use these hair, skin, and nail vitamins. These are the jelly beans. I got this from Walmart, and I don't like the gummies. The gummies give me that bad aftertaste or even like the melt. So when I found these, I was like, oh yeah, that's my go-to because y'all, the jelly beans actually taste so good. I ain't even gonna hold you. I don't even know if that worked, girl. But if the ingredients say it's gonna work, I know that probably sound bad. You can't be listening to everything everybody say. But the girls be on the hair, skin, and nail vitamins, so I don't even know if it worked. I just know that it works for me. I like how those taste, and that's what I use on a daily. You take two jelly beans a day. These are my vitamins I take daily. And like I said, I did like the Mary Ruth brand, so I hope it's called the Mary Ruth. But whatever it is, I'll pop it here on the screen. I'm going to reorder that. It is pretty pricey, but it comes with a lot. It says it's good for a daily vitamin, like for your skin as well, and your immune system. So why not make sure all of that is taken care of in one for a daily multivitamin. Next, we're going to get into the oral hygiene. Everybody likes to start off their morning, or some people like to end their night with their oral hygiene. So first things first, I like to use these um, Colgate Medium. It just says that they're the extra clean. It comes in a four and six pack. Um, different colors, real cute. I like to change these out every two to three months. I'm more closer to the two month girl because after one month, I'll be ready to throw that away. And as for toothpaste, I get the Colgate Total. Um, usually it'll say like Total Whitening. I like to get the gel because the paste, I don't know, it's just like chalky. I definitely do not like that. Um, but it's the Colgate Total Fresh Mint Stripe. Also, I'll get the Total Whitening. Also, I recently got a electric toothbrush from Amazon. Do not like it. I don't know if it's something you gotta get used to, girl, but I don't like the electric toothbrush. This is the floss I use. Just some regular disposable floss. I like to also keep like a little small travel size pack of floss in my uh, purse. Uh, when I'm on the go. This is the electric toothbrush I recently purchased and it's not a name brand. Like I said, it's just from Amazon. It comes with eight replacements and girl, I don't know. It's like it got different settings, but the first time I used it, I had a headache. I had to like turn it down because I'm like, this is too much. Maybe it's something that I have to get used to, but I don't like it. I don't like, I was ready to send it back. I was like, I ain't used the other seven brushes. I'm ready to send this back. But I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna use it. I am thinking about getting braces soon. So I don't even know if you can use the electric toothbrush with that, which is cool with me. I like to use my manual toothbrush. And for mouthwash, I use the Therabreath Invigorating Icy Mint and the Listerine Cool Mint. I 
I actually realized that this does make your breath fresh for like longer than the Listerine. But the Listerine just give you that umph, girl, that you need. Like, <laughs> smelling so good, girl. But it's definitely worth to make sure your breath is smelling fresh like all day, girl. Almost all day long. So I just like to keep the two. I ain't even gonna hold you. Like, whatever I'm feeling that day, that's what I'm gonna use. Now, once my oral hygiene routine is complete, I go in with the Nair Nourish Shower Power for the girl down there. I do not wax. Um, I did state in my other video that during quarantine, this is what I went to. Now, this is what I stick to. Um, you only leave it on there three minutes. Actually, it says wait one minute before getting a shower and then before you get wet, wait two more minutes. Why am I doing all that? Girl, just wait three minutes before you get in the shower. So as soon as you get in the shower, you can just rinse your body off and just rinse this right on off. Now, make sure you do like a sensitivity check before you just cover your whole area. That's what I recommend. It doesn't say that on the bottle, but that's just common sense. Like, don't just jump into it because this may not be for you. So once I get in the shower and I'm just letting the water relax me, rinsing off all the dirt, letting the steam just open up all my pores and rinsing off the nair, I go in with my body wash. Let's stop there. Girl, I used to be a Dove girl. I used to use Dove Deep Moisture. It's still in there. I used to use Olay. I was just telling y'all to go use it. That's still in there. Ever since I went by this, this method body wash is a plant-based cleanser. Y'all, this is so good. This is one of my new products that I bought. And I was like, I have to try this out first before I even talk about it. I've been using it every day since. Y'all, it cleanses. It smells so good. It smells like spa. The smell is cucumber seaweed green tea. It's giving spa, girl. You know that spa smell that I'm talking about? It seemed like it just opened up my nose. I'm, my pores, everything was open. I felt so clean. I felt so refreshed. And on top of that, my body was so soft. I noticed a difference in my skin. You know how sometimes you get out the shower and it feels as if like the soap have dried your body out if you ain't used all those moisturizers to bring the moisture back into your skin? This does not strip your skin of any oils. If anything, it's putting it in, girl. This is good. The girls wasn't lying. The girls wasn't lying. Daily Zen, go get that. The other, I'm gonna definitely try the other scents as well because y'all, I'm like so in love with this. I'm really about to ditch my other body washes. Once I'm in the shower, everything is clean. I make sure that I wash my face before I touch, you know, any other areas or get any oils on my hands. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. So good. I have acne prone combination skin and my cheeks get really, really dry. This hydrates and cleanses. This is the hydrated micellar water that I use to pre-cleanse my skin or remove any makeup. As I stated in the shopping video, they didn't have the hydrated kind, but this is it. Um, they had the regular kind, which is cool. If they don't have this, I always get the regular kind because it's good for all skin types. Before I started using the cream to foam cleanser, I was using the regular CeraVe Hydrating. It wasn't making my skin feel super clean to me. So with the foam, I just feel like it's just doing what it needs to do, girl. Now, after I wash my face, this is where I go in with all my scrubs. These are the scrubs I like to use. I'm definitely a big fan of Tree Hut. This is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Moroccan Rose. I love how this smell. I love how coarse it is. I love how it exfoliates my skin and keeps me moisturized. This is my holy grail, but this girl is something new that I got. Y'all, this stuff smells so good. Let me actually, let me smell it right now. It's so good. And see, I already been, I already been using this girl. I wanted to tell the girls like how good this is. Like this, oh my God, it's like, it's coarse, it's thick, it's moisturizing. I definitely, with the Method Body and this, I was smelling like just citrus fresh goddess, girl. I was smelling good. And I was feeling good, y'all. I just felt like I had elevated my routine with these products. These are must-haves. Go get it now. 
run don't walk now the dove exfoliating body polish that's very gentle it's like a light scrub to basically like prep the skin before you shave it and things like that for my shaving routine i do use disposable razors preferably men disposable razors uh, because i don't shave really often i only shave my legs and under my arms i really don't shave my legs that often because my hair grows really slow so i usually buy a travel size skin to me or any travel size shaving cream that they have at the time i try to make sure that it's sensitive or that it's skin to me something that i know that my body will not reject because i get like small blackheads under my arms sometimes and i don't know if it means because like maybe my deodorant is clogging my pores i use the dove sensitive deodorant and i don't know if it's the reason why like i'm getting those small blackheads and like my pores are being clogged but this has been happening since puberty and i was first using um, original clean and i'm just like maybe that's not it with this i noticed that the blackheads is less but if you have any tips and tricks or if this is happening to you let me know what i can do or how i can switch up my deodorant or even if i need to switch to spray deodorant to where it's lighter for me to where it's not clogging my pores olay rinse off moisturizing is another product that i recently got and y'all it was so thick so creamy it smelled so good i was feeling myself in the shower with this y'all and i can smell it now it actually lingers after you get out the shower like this smell stays on you the girls wasn't lying about this miss girl you have to go get this but be careful because it does leave the shower very slippery that's how moisturizing it is and when you get out the shower if you need a lotion you if you need to put on your oils this just puts the cherry on top because this is prepping your skin to be glistening and glowing girl for the rest of the night for the rest of the day whenever you want to use this but i must say i have to use a lot of it i didn't realize i was going to be using that much product and i make sure my hands are really clean i use my hands to use the love wellness ph balancing cleanser i don't use a cloth i feel like it does hold bacteria and if we don't want any bad bacteria in that area why would i be using a cloth I don't know to each his own but everybody know dr jackie from married to medicine she did an article like a few years back and she basically stated that we should be using our fingers to cleanse ourselves and you know just make sure your hands are really clean and especially after you use any oils or moisturizers just make sure your hands are really clean and use your feminine wash or water you know whatever you choose but um i just feel as if that works for me this is a ph balancing cleanser it's fragrance free it's 100 percent vegan if you're still using honey pot that's okay because it is a plant-based cleanser but if you want to go to a product that's 100 percent vegan go with this one girl love wellness ph balancing cleanser as you can see i've been using it down and that's why i had to re-up and go get another product but it's still a little bit in there i'm gonna use it girl because this is expensive for this little bitty bottle now as for exfoliating when i'm in the shower i recently got this brush for the back the bristles is so soft i really love it i actually feel my back is super squeaky clean and exfoliated when i use this i do not use that every day you never want to exfoliate every day keep it to maybe two to three times a week i'm more of a two times a week girl or if i'm stepping out and going somewhere and i just feel like i just need that extra exfoliating because i'm about to put all my body butters and my oils also for exfoliating i like to use the gloves the reason why i like to use the gloves because they come in pairs and you can just like use the gloves to clean both sides of your body at once versus like the mitten i used that before and i was just like then i switched the hand and i'm just like girl that's too much that is absolutely too much i haven't tried the cloths yet but um since the gloves work for me highly highly 10 out of 10 recommend once i'm out the shower i use these disposable cotton tissues they look like this and they tear pretty easily like they're sectioned they look like this they're sectioned to like tear pretty easily and that's what i use to dry my face i don't use 
um, any towels or anything like that or you can use napkins just make sure you're using something clean I get these on Amazon I keep it on my subscription so every time I run out another one is coming in I also like to use Eucerin intensive repair lotion it's really thick and creamy now this is what I'll use during the day at nighttime I don't like to get in bed with something so thick and heavy but this girl will have your skin glistening. Now at nighttime, I use the Dr. Teal's Moisturizing Melatonin. This all is so good. Make sure you use it when your body is still wet or damp so it can lock in the moisture. And with that Olay Rinse Off Moisturizer and this, girl, when I tell you the body be looking good. Also for body oils, I like to use the Bio Oil for uh, my scars. And to make sure my skin tone stays even, y'all, this stuff really works. If you use it consistently, you'll see your scars fade. And I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to get better and staying consistent with using this. I am on the Amazon subscription, so I just got another one recently. Definitely a 10 out of 10 recommend. Bio All is pricey, but it works. This is one of my new products, and it is definitely a go-to, girl. Um, I apply this on my clean skin once I get out the shower. You're only supposed to use it once a week. Now, I didn't feel as if I had that immediate glow, but the next day, oh my God. But what I did notice is when I rinsed it off, my face felt so soft. It is basically like a chemical uh, instant resurfacing mask, and it's so good because I noticed the difference. Once I had finished my routine and I put my moisturizer on and woke up the next day, Girl, I was like, oh yes, this works. So I know the more I use it, I'm gonna definitely see results. For toners, I use the Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner and the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner. This is a chemical toner, so you definitely don't wanna use this often. I kinda like to use this maybe twice a week. Um, also, you know, when you're gonna be in the sun or you're going on vacation, you need to stop using it. But these toners work for me. Um, when I say like I have combination skin and acne scarring and pores, this works to even out your skin tone. Even over time, the rose petal, like girl, it just cleanses everything that was left behind after pre-cleansing, after using your facial wash. This is going to do the last cleanup with a small cotton round. These are the cotton rounds I like to use to apply my toners or any exfoliants I use. These are the ovals I like to use with my micellar water to like pre-cleanse or remove any makeup. The Ordinary Toner is a chemical exfoliant, but I also like to use Paula's Choice. I do not use these on the same day because it has a BHA in it and the other one has AHA in it. So it's like, it's basically gonna balance each other out and cancel each other out. So you don't wanna do that. But I kind of like throughout the week interchange them. One day I use the toner. In two days, I'm gonna use the exfoliant. So it's like I just basically just wing it, only using it at night, but also while using the SPF during the day. I use the thyers toner during the day always because you never wanna use like exfoliant and go out in the sun. It says it's okay if you're wearing the SPF, but for safety reasons and to make this skin continue looking younger, I don't need that. So I go in with the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. It has SPF 30. Now the girls was telling me about the Super Goop and it's like an invisible sunscreen. So I'm definitely going to be buying that soon and I'll let the ladies know. For nighttime, I use the All Free Neutrogena Combination Skin Moisturizer. It is very lightweight. Definitely do what it needs to do with my dry cheeks and my oily T-zone. I'm going to definitely try the PM CeraVe next uh, because I do see it's lightweight and it is all free. And I already love CeraVe products, so why not just get the whole routine going with a girl full of CeraVe products. I also like to use the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum. And maybe one day I'll do an in-depth skincare routine. Like I said, I have a different routine in the AM than the PM which I'm sure everybody does, but this also works. You have to basically use retinol every few days until your skin get used to it. Then you can use this as a daily retinol serum, but definitely recommend. I also like to use the Mighty Patch Pimple Patches. I noticed that the blue pack says invisible, so I will be getting that next, but I was so used to getting these. 
I didn't even realize what the blue pack said, but y'all, this really was, it says that it gently absorbs pimple gunk in six to eight hours. Not a lie. Bring it to a head. Girl, you could just pull that off and the pimple will be gone and healing within that same day, girl. Now, lastly, when it is that time of the month, I did recommend 100% cotton tampons or pads. But the girls was telling me how, you know, the tampons, even though it says 100% cotton, it still has all these harmful products and ingredients. So just do whatever works for you in that area. Now, after your menstrual cycle, I do recommend using the honey pie board acids. Y'all, this is so good. It has cocoa butter and tea tree all in it. It keeps the pH balanced. It works so good. The Love Wellness Capsules, I'm not a fan of it, so I do not recommend. But this here is a go-to girl. I had to re-up. And you know, just to prevent certain things or if you're feeling funny, you know, after your cycle, you want to make sure everything is back to normal, pH is balanced, that girl. Highly, highly recommend. And also, I use flushable wipes. Now, they do have travel size flushable wipes when you're on the go or those feminine wipes that you can purchase. But I love to keep these at home just, you know, for a touch up and a cleanse. And it's also good to flush. So, definitely recommend using flushable wipes. Now, as for my co-wash, this is the co-wash I like to use. I'm really not a fan of shampoo and conditioner, but I know we need those deep cleaning. So, when it's time for a deep cleaning, I do go to the hair salon to get the girls together get a little silk you know me feeling myself or whatnot i did recently do some investigating about the brand purology it is a vegan brand um and it's for color treated hair and fine hair i do have fine hair i love to keep my hair jet black so i was like i'm definitely going to do like an ulta haul go on ulta and try that out soon and let the girlies know what i think about it but also for this hair oil, I do use Benta Beauty. It's a vegan brand as well. I'll link it down below, girl. This stuff works. If I would consistently use that oil, my hair would be to my butt, girl. I'm not going to hold you. That works. And I'll link it down below so you can check out her Instagram page and go see all the reviews and how people hair just grows so fast and i see the results when i'm consistently using this i also forgot to mention that i do use a lip scrub i don't really have one that i recommend i just get a lip scrub i also want to try the laneige um lip mask i heard good things about that but right now i just use carmax and i do use vaseline for under my eyes so if you have any recommendations for eye creams please let me know in the comments well, that concludes my feminine hygiene routine. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and recommend some things for the girls. And let me know what you think about the products I use and if you use these same products as well. So see you soon, girl, for another video. Bye.